this is the um, September 30th. I don't know, I don't believe it's September 3rd. Last day. Yeah. So meeting so. of the Conway Select Board. Hi, We're being uh, videotaped by the community, uh, by Frontier Community Access Television. To be viewed by our residents and the public later on. Uh, first two items are minutes for two meetings. The first one is September the 4th. Has everybody had a chance to review those minutes? Yes. Uh, everything is acceptable? Yes. Okay. Great. okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for the September 4th meeting. Second. Okay. We also have um, minutes for the September 16th meeting. Uh, I was not at that meeting. I'll make a motion that it be approved. We just, um, there was an error on that. Um, Go to the second page where it says committees. At the bottom, town administrator update committees. Mm -hmm. You just have to read that first sentence after the phrase planning board. You have to read that out loud. Yeah, I, and I, I had explained that that was um, this that language was taken is, directly from. His I know, email. I know, but the mistake yeah. is so mm. classic. This language, this language is an effing email from the planning board. <laughs> that's not exactly. <laughs> that's how you. Says. That's how you would pronounce it, right? So it says is FM. But not an FN. But oh, and instead of yes. So, oh, so it's so it's a typo. Oh, okay. It is a typo. Oh, okay. But uh, I read it out loud in the room that I was at, and everybody thought it was quite humorous. So <laughs> it didn't go over so well here. So it should read I, this language. Yeah, just, just take from the email. email. Just, just take the F out. The or F is that email? Yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry. The language is an email. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good thing and, I didn't uh, get out to the public. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There was a few other little things, but they were inconsequential, not worth mentioning. Okay. But the F and email was. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, <laughs> oh, as acceptable. Yes, yes. As acceptable. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I'll make a motion. We approve those minutes. Second. Second. All in favor. Yes. For both of them. Aye. Okay. Next item on the agenda, we have three warrants. We have a vendor warrant for $131,400, payroll warrant for $120,848, and a payroll deduction warrant of $29,302. I'll make a motion to approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Next is meetings attended by select board members. Phil, what do we got? What do I? Yeah, I had the um, frontier, fr a frontier meeting. And the Conway School Committee meeting. Um, the Frontier meeting, we, Frontier got a letter from the state saying the state overpaid last year. So uh, that overage on the uh, E and D yeah. might not be any overage at all. That much? Uh, yeah. So, but well, it might be a tiny bit overage. The state giveth and the state yeah, giveth away. Yeah, but that was so that was very. Uh, and uh, um, other than that, the, the big topic of discussion was the $30,000 grant that Conway Grammar School got um, for the security upgrades, Good. which is almost all spent already or being spent shortly. Um, so they're actually doing that. And they had no, they, nobody noticed any blasting in that building whatsoever. They were never aware that it was going on. <coughs> Good. And okay. That's about it. No more, no foul. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll be at NEFCAT meeting uh, almost two weeks ago. Um, FCAT's going great, except. We're still quite nervous as to what the FCC is going to do to the budget. And so far, nothing's happening, but uh, it does make Chris very nervous that he's trying not to spend any money. Okay. Uh, and we had a CONCOM meeting, although the CONCOM right now is very slow. Um, there's almost no projects happening. And uh, and we had a planning board meeting. The pizza was excellent. I'm right now, <laughs> frantically trying to remember what what the planning board meeting was scheduled to talk about. Uh, 
Just focus on the pizza. Yeah, but yeah, that's right. Well, the pizza is always excellent. It gets a lot of people to come to the meeting. <laughs> That was the regional planning board. The regional which planning board. I was unable to make. And you were there, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, that was okay. it for me. Okay, I had a uh, Massachusetts Municipal Association Board of Directors meeting uh, in Boston. You know, those are always very interesting meetings to hear what other towns have to talk about and what's going on. Um, I had a local government advisory commission meeting in Boston as well. Uh, with the Lieutenant Governor and the uh, and Secretary Heffernan, the Finance uh, Director. They're very happy with the, uh, uh, the results of uh, tax revenue so far this year, so it's looking good. Uh, I also had a Massachusetts Selectmen's Association Board of Directors meeting in Boston where we talked about the regional meeting, which was last Saturday, a week ago this past Saturday, which I wasn't able to attend. Uh, did you guys get to that meeting at all? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I had a family reunion in Connecticut, so I wasn't able to get there. I also attended a um, Massachusetts Association Personnel and Fair Labor Policy uh, Committee meeting. That those are always very interesting to hear how many personnel problems the rest of mm -hmm. Massachusetts is having. And um, I'm starting to think <coughs> that we're living in kind of a utopia here. <coughs> um, and then don't forget this Saturday at uh, UMass we have the Massachusetts Selectmen's Association Western Massachusetts Conference. Is everybody going to that? I am. Although it does compete with yeah, any the Festival of the Hills is happening Saturday too. So yeah, I know. Not on right. Sunday, so that's the thing. I am unfortunately low on schedule to run the spelling bee at the one room schoolhouse Saturday morning. Right. Right. Um, oh, okay. So uh, unfortunately that was I committed to that months ago. Yeah. Right. Two less two two fewer candidates for the spelling bee, I see. <laughs> this yeah. is true. Yes. Okay, uh, public comments. We don't have any public comments. Okay. Old business. There's no old business. New business. Okay, we have the appointment of Ruth Bowman to the Cultural Council. Uh, um, I had thought she might be. Apparently, she was unable to make it. Um, she did come recommended uh, with a vote of the Cultural Council. Um, I understand yeah. she's been around, and some people might know her anyway. I know her, yeah. Yeah, okay. Sure, yeah. She's, okay. she's known in the community. We can't introduce her to the town, but at least she needs no introduction to the board. Right. Yeah. Okay. Any any questions about Ruth's appointment? No. Okay. Yeah, she's yeah. approved by the Cultural Council. Um, based on that recommendation, I'll make a motion that we uh, appoint her to serve on the Cultural Council for term ending. June 30th of 2022. Do I have a second? second? Yeah. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. All in favor. Yes. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the highway shed construction. Gentlemen, come on up. We should just make a standing invitation every two weeks for you guys to join us here. Uh, we don't anticipate anything. <laughs> Okay, we have some contracts to sign. You guys have seen these. Really, two <laughs> copies. <laughs> okay, we had we had uh, our town council go over them, and he just had the one comment about the three uh, B. Uh, Can I see his comment? He had a uh, comment on 3B and 3D. I understand you have something to add to that, Walter. Yeah, um, I asked Andrea about 3D. Yeah. That was 
my question too. Liquidated damages with of zero. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I, I said, yeah. why do we have this if the penalty is zero? She wrote back, liquidated damage, Andrea uh, Wood, Wood yeah. right? Yeah. Liquidated damages language is on the standard contract. You can change that article to intentionally left blank if you want. So yeah. that's how it got there. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something that I asked for. Um, and Ron made a really good point uh, on that question. Since I was aware doing the site work, work, we could hinder their time frame. Right. So my thought is that it shouldn't be in there, or the zero should stay, because if we cause them an issue, then that's going to exactly. create okay. an issue in the end. But, but if, if we're not delayed in our site work, then certainly when they start their work, uh, we, we should have something in there about some sort of liquidated damages. Or, or, or else removed. So with the, my concern about it is that when, when you read that liquidated that, that paragraph, um, the first part of that starts talking about how you're, you're waiving all these other remedies that you would have at law, like actual damages. Um, because you're going to set up this liquidated damages thing. Um, and then you say the liquidated damages will be zero a day. So you went ahead and you waived all your, in the first part, you all waived other all remedies. your other rights. Um, and in the second part, you left yourself with no remedy. So either, yeah, and I, this is what the lawyer was saying too, that either that, that, either either. that there's a number on liquidated damages or you delete it entirely and you, have, you preserve all of your rights in case they mess up. Mm -hmm. um, so... so Will, will you be all done around. before they start? No. Well, they're ready to go right now. As soon as this gets going, we're not quite ready for the. Because you had a, like 17 weeks or 16 weeks or something. They, that's Limited. what they have. For, right. That's what the contract says. 16 weeks for them 16, from start yeah. to finish. But they're really anxious to get going. It's, it's, it's just thrilled. With the, Could they start? The response we got. They're ready to go. I mean, are done. you done enough that they no. can start? We still have prep work for the concrete. Okay. But how they, long, how long <coughs> I'm hoping by the end of this week that they will, will be ready enough where they can start. But what they want is to be able to order the building because that's going to be what holds them back. So they can do that though. If the contract gets signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're. I, I'm pretty comfortable with the company that got the bid. I mean, talking to them, I mean, they've been, they, we've met with them. I'm just thrilled to have this company. It's now the one that we wanted. Mm. Nice. And, they and the price is right. So, so we could price propose. More than $100,000 below our budget. That's just, so, that's just so we could propose deleting that section. Yeah. And um, you could vote to approve it with that section deleted. I could come up with a side agreement, an amendment to the contract that said this section is deleted. And then um, we, could, we could have just that shorter document go back and forth and be signed by both parties, and then you could sign the original contract. Do you think that would work? All right, we can they have said 16 weeks. They you can even take 16 a short, 16 weeks. You can yeah. take a shortcut okay. beyond that by just on this copy, have just cross out that section. Well, have us all initial the one, the the top of the paragraph on each one, and then all you need is them to then initial the same thing, and you wouldn't need a separate document. You could just that's like a side. That's a little easier. So the side contract doesn't on. have a number in it for what the damages would be. Okay. You know what I mean? we, we would just need to to remove that last sentence. No, you delete the whole paragraph. Yeah, because we don't want to waive everything else if there's a zero dollar mm -hmm. amount. You just cross that paragraph out from top to bottom. Would they um, agree to that yet? Well, they've already signed the contract. Well, well right, but with that yeah. paragraph in it. With it, which is favorable to them. Right. Mm -hmm. So we would. Ha it would be up to... It would, it would involve a renegotiation, really, but it's probably something that they would agree to. I, I would hope. If not, 
Um, I, what's your sense on this? You've worked with these people. I haven't worked with them, but you, well, actually, we've worked with them right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. They're they're the one company that we have been getting all, all the information, mm -hmm. most of the information that when we started this project. I, I researched the company some um, a few months ago. They built three big buildings for Tri County Fairgrounds. And that guy couldn't have been more sanguine in his praise. He said they were great to work with. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. The big and horse on horse time. Ones, the new horse barns? Those are beautiful. Well, finished on time. Them. Wow. Yeah, they finished on time. Maybe early. Okay. Yeah. I know that pair oh, so was real happy with those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're nice. Well, it's a good contractor, and I think it's also a good building manufacturer. Nice. Nice. I, I, I think it, it might help in your discussion, in whoever's discussion with the company, that to show that the town's the lawyers council, look, yeah, that yeah. the town council's opinion is exactly on point to what we're asking them to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they would understand that that's sort of you kind of that's what we listen to for good reason. Um, it might help, it might not, but I'd be okay with photocopying this and showing it to them. Mm. I think I think we should just delete section 3D. Yeah. Right, and then if they're comfortable, you guys initial it, and then if they're like you said, if they're comfortable with it, they, they initial, initial it, it and yeah. then it's Not all good. If, I think if, they will be. if they're as good as they say they are, and they want 16 weeks to finish, and they it's said 16 weeks, and you know that's that's from the time that we're finished everything and we're going to interfere with them, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we can give them some leeway on that? Right. Okay. Yep, I don't have any problem with Okay, is that good with you? I thought that that's what was okay. going to get written into it in the first place. But. All right, so we'll take out 3D. Yep, good. It's really a month away from historical big snow calendar, you know, just no, a couple years ago we had the two-foot blizzard for eight. Halloween. Well, good thing we're out in Montana. Right? Yeah, yeah. Four, four feet of snow. Maybe it'll be five or six by tonight. The actual putting the building up is not the issue. It's getting the concrete in the ground. Once they do that, then yeah, it's... Right. And he said, roughly said four weeks, four or five weeks to put the building up after the concrete. So it's nice. But it's also, they got to get it ordered to get the building built. So that but they were nice enough to put us in the queue out of the building manufacturing because there's a queue for the drawings. First, they gave you a test to get drawn up on it. So he said, if you are pretty sure this contract's going to get signed, I'll, this was a week ago today. He said, I'll get us in the line. So we're already in the line. Sure. That's great. Okay. All right. right. So they were real easy that way to do it. They didn't have to. So they have the same positive feeling towards us? <laughs> I that think so. I, would hope yeah, so. I had a conversation with uh, Gene, who's uh, it's Gene and Lori. Kurtz. I had a conversation with him today. Um, talk, we were talking about the uh, maintenance building. Well, he's full of suggestions. Great up there. That'll be a separate contract. Oh, yeah. All right. So, aside from 3D. The rest of the contract is right, but in, in the margin right next to that paragraph that's crossed out, you would put for the Conway Select Board, and then the three of us would initial it. I, I already initialed it, you guys can initial it as well. Okay, now you're saying 3D, but in this letter it says 3B. Well, well no, it, it's it's 3D is the actual. You see it, is he's it got here? the contract in front see of him. Oh, over here, yeah, yeah. see yeah. it. That's that's the one that, that okay counts. Because that's the one that has the zero liquidity. Oh, yeah. Just, okay. 3B is just time is of the essence. Right. So, we're all going to initial this paragraph. I already initialed it. Just put, it in right. put a sticky on, on it there so that people can find it easily. It's just on the second oh, page. Oh, second page? Yeah, okay, second. that's good. Yeah. All right, so we're all set with this then? Yes. Aside from 3B? Yes. The 3D will make a motion that we sign the contract. Do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. Really nice job. You the man. You the man. We're, we're so happy to have you know, it. Sure. Sure. It was a very tense thing for me to sit at the bid opening because 
five contractors were there and we're sitting there and nobody's talking. I don't know if you've done that before. That's the way it's supposed to work, actually. actually. I was so nervous. Yeah. I wanted these guys so much. I'm there. hard work on this guys. This looks like uh, we're moving along very well on this. We're saving money, which is really important. Which is a beautiful thing. <laughs> and I'm glad, um, you know, if, if they were picked to do uh, the three county fair buildings, uh, that's a good, pretty good recommendation. And, and the, the guy who picked them, he, he just went on and on. Okay, that's great. You want to call Lori or you want to have me call her tomorrow? I have to talk to her right away. Okay. Just need her to initial that that uh, paragraph. Yeah, and I'll uh, I'll mail them out tomorrow. Okay. And you want her to come up and sign it? She could come up if she wanted to. Let me know. Okay. Because that would be better ready. before mailing it out, correct? Yes. It would be better if you were sitting there watching her initial. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you mail it to them? Well, I would, but if she if she can come up, she came up today to sign. So she also delivered the payment bond and the uh, and the performance oh, bond and the certificate of insurance. They're in Southampton. Mm -hmm. Yes, close Southampton. Oh, that's what it is. That's the way. It's an hour. It's an hour. Okay. I'm sure she's used to that. Alternatively, I could go down there because I have mm -hmm. some questions for them. I'll well, just, you just I'll talk to her and, and her let me know what you tell her that If you tell her that it's signed just waiting for you, I bet you that might be a pretty good incentive for her to climb up the hill. But, okay. okay. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Awesome. Thank you. And thanks for all your hard work on this. It's going along really well. Got a lot more to do, right? <laughs> yeah, there's always a lot more to do. Well, yeah. Always a lot more. <coughs> Okay. Is this going? Yeah, just stick it in here. Or you know what? Why don't you keep? Why don't you keep these with the contracts? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next item is electric vehicle charging stations. Is that charging stations for the Conway Grammar School? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had something. I made three copies and I didn't bring it. What? What is uh, the cost? That, what's that about? So that um. There's grants available now for towns. Right. Well, Eversource in particular has a program mm -hmm. where they will um, give you the chargers mm -hmm. uh, and a one-year warranty if you agree to take over the maintenance afterwards and arrange for whatever policy you want, whether it's free electricity or whether they pay, you know, via credit card per kilowatt hour. They'll give you either charger. Whichever kind you so so this came up because the Deerfield <laughs> Energy Committee came to the Frontier School Committee with a proposal to put one in the Frontier parking lot for students, um, as well as several other locations throughout Deerfield, and they have it all costed out to the to the penny, um, and the the state has a grant oh. where uh, the town has to match it with forty percent. Um, and then Eversource has the grant that which and that, that get combined, mm -hmm. um, and so that the so that out the the total the cost of six that whatever would be to the town, the total cost would be under two thousand dollars, and that includes the there's a hookup fee, there's a first year's fee or whatever, and then there's an annual uh, an annual fee of two hundred and fifty dollars, and an annual estimated electric use of about two hundred and fifty dollars. And so the follow-on, the, the follow-on question that needs to be decided is, 
w what's the policy to the users of those things? Mm -hmm. Is it free and subsidized by the town every year? Which is or, like two hundred and fifty. Which is two hundred fifty, right? Or do they do you do it like in Greenfield's doing both of them in some locations now? Big Y or whatever is free, and right. the, yeah. the new garage is a dollar fifty an hour. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so those are that's the follow on question that would need to be decided. Um, besides, like whether to do it or not, and but I, and I made three copies because it was hand it was a handout at the thing, and then I left it on my kitchen table. I'm sorry. That's fine. Um, but it, right, well, we're not deciding on this tonight. No, this isn't yeah. meant to be a discussion to right. see. You know, okay. Whether so so why is this why is this charges at the school? Um, because Bob's thinking was that um, an initial good location might at least be the school, and I did communicate with the principal about that and she wrote up a survey for the for all staff in the buildings and just to be put to also have parents uh, take whatever so that there would be a count of how many electric cars currently are in use um, and then who's planning in the next couple of years to getting an electric car there are probably mm -hmm. no parents of kids at the grammar school that have electric cars although there are well, there are four or five electric cars in town, but okay. and because most of the electric cars are currently being purchased by people who are a little older. Really? So yeah. yeah, there are, but, but there's school choice families from Waitley and Deerfield are, and all that that come in every day. So, so how, how many? But the real reason for it would be for the staff, right. you know, who may not own an electric car now, but with a charger at the at school Maybe where they could charge. charge. It would encourage them to buy an electric car. And it's the kind of place where people, especially who don't have a single family home, uh, you know, where they can park their car and charge at home. If you're in an apartment or in a condo, you need to have a place to charge. And Bob and I had talked about this kind of vaguely, you know, sometime a year ago or something like that, whenever Source first came out with its program. And I had, I had uh, said, well, why don't we have some at the, uh, at the, uh, at the uh, ball field here, mm -hmm. you know, at the new parking lot there. Sure. And um, it's occurring to me now that uh, maybe we could do both, and that would mean that we wouldn't, that people wouldn't have to go park at the school at all hours if they wanted to be charging there. I think this would have to be available to the public. So the question, and you know, they have limited parking at the school and things like that. So. To re it, it might be good to relieve some of the pressure on the school if we had something where where people could come and and park here too, as they were going through town. Let's like say. So ha so how many of these things can we get through this program from Emerson? And you, the, I, I don't I I, I, I don't, don't think know. that there's a limit. I know Deerfield's looking at four or five, just that the first go and then more. And the one thing that. The, Deerfield Academy has had them, I don't know how many they have, but they've had them since 2014. Okay. And there was the, th um, the, the, fellow that's, the fellow that runs that program for DA was there, and he was just there to say what a great thing it is, and that they've had zero maintenance, and that snow plows don't hit them, and they don't break down in the winter, and the ones that they're talking about getting are really good to get and that it's not a lot of the charges have allowed two cars to charge yeah it would each oh, each, yeah. each one right. each one is for two cars for two. yeah oh, okay. yeah yeah all right well that's and, good and the uh, the um there was a slight discount like um in the cost for an, the electrician to do the initial hookup which was four hundred dollars or something like that but if there's more than one you get like a hundred dollars off but there yeah, it has to be close to electricity right so there is electricity i'm sure at the school because the lights out. And the at the ball field, there's right. the meter, right? right? The ball field's right around the, the... Well, I'm not sure about the ball field. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. not sure we have electric down here at this, this parking lot. Mm -hmm. But we do at the main parking lot, right? Well, we've so got the holes field. going by both. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, there the is holes electric. are on the side of the, of the parking lot on Academy Hill. Mm -hmm. so who takes the electric from the poles to the... We yeah, have to right. add a new account. No, there, there's electric right in the parking right across from Town Hall because. Um, yeah, right across from Town Hall there is. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe but, that. But he was talking. Oh, you were well, talking about the. <coughs> the You're talking about the ball. Field. Yeah, I think there's the, the, the new. I, th I think that they put that in right around the corner from that, or not too far. Um, well, the the panel is by the shed. The yeah, there's shed. another panel on the lower though, isn't there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. But, and, but when well, you're charging we, electric cars, that would, that would become part of the project planning if we if we move on but to the next stage. The, the long and the short of it is, it, yeah. for each pedestal for two cars, it's it, the cost of the town is under, is going to be would be under two thousand dollars, and the annual cost going forward would be two hundred and fifty dollars in electric. Um, and so, I don't know anybody um, who has an electric car who minds paying for their electricity. You, you know, I mean, so so if that's at all an issue, and mm -hmm. It's really very fair to charge people for their electricity. Um, it's still half the price using reasonable electric rates to drive an electric car than a gas car. So e even if you were charging more than the electric rates, it, it would be cheaper than a gas car. Um, but normally you want to put the chargers at a destination. So somebody sure. that goes and their kids are playing baseball, yes. they would drive to the ball field, leave their car parked in while their kids are playing baseball. Mm -hmm. Or an employee that goes to the grammar school, you'd leave your car parked in. Not, not to where somebody would drive down to town hall to come and register to vote and then leave 10 minutes later. You know, it's, that's not of any great benefit to anybody. Sure. You, you know, you or Lori or somebody who parks behind this town hall for all day, it would be a help to you to have a charger. But it really needs to be a fairly long amount of time to have it make a difference. Yeah, I'm not saying back here, I mean maybe by the town hall, but That'd be I, great. My, my original thought was by the by parking the ball lot, field. by the board, mm -hmm. yeah. either one of the parking lots. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like a good idea. Let's investigate. You know, okay. the, only, the only doubt, we do not have a functioning energy committee anymore. Mm. And oh, we, we don't? No, not really, no. Not really. And so this is oh. strictly, this is sort of right up the energy. Tonkin. All right. Yeah. 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 Good. yeah. It's Good. just a quote. <laughs> yeah. And they have to, everything's, everything. The they've all, well, left them, no one's joined. There, there, there's, there, there have been enthusiasm for certain projects. Yeah. And as those either happened and were completed or didn't happen, people, I think, lost uh, some impetus to move forward uh, with, okay. with any new green community grants or meta grants or things like that. Okay. All right. So, you know, if you want to enlist somebody to help you with that, that's sure. Fine. sure. Yeah. Uh, First on my list is Bob. I yeah. <laughs> well, he's got the most experience and here. And Phil, if you can get, right? uh, yeah. yeah. get me that information. I, that I photocopied it and I just left it. Sorry. Sounds good. You know, you're you're the, you're the expert on electric cars here. So, all right. Next item is to appoint a Frontier Regional School Committee Capital Planning Subcommittee representative. And our last representative was Mr. Bob Armstrong. Yeah. The Honorable really? Mr. Bob and, and, and I'm, you know, it, I don't know schools like Phil, but it was enjoyable to be on the committee. And, yeah. and, and you were also on it, by coincidence, also a select board member. But through yeah. a, a different route. Yeah. Yeah, right. I drew the short straw so again and, you did. and I drew the duty for Frontier. Well, great. <laughs> as long as it was an enjoyable experience for you, we'll yes, I'm happy to do it. That we appoint you. Thank you. Phil, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 That's good. good for myself. Okay. <laughs> Tom, do we have any items on anticipated 48 hours in advance? I do not. Okay. <coughs> no, but while well, we still waiting for Ruth, or can we come back? No, to no, that? We're, we're not. We're, 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 we vote that. Okay, good, good, good. Do you have your update, Tom? Yes, I do. Uh, in committee news, uh, mm -hmm. Just for your information, the planning board has been discussing options for Deerfield River Portage to work within the town's bylaws, the requirements of which don't seem to apply well to businesses that operate with remote, distributed, or variable locations, especially the section that says, for a commercial establishment, up to 50 people shall be permitted on the premises at any one time. So there's a discussion of what premises means and occasionally they, they may get more than 50 people, so they're, they're working with the planning board on that. I just thought I'd give you a heads up. Do you have the River Porch? They're, they're the uh, tubers. Oh, I so know who they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we so talking about what goes on at the, the Hoop, river? Hoosack Road group? Uh, well, right or now the Boydens are The Boydens are, are doing the, it. The point. I, I kind of thought yeah, they were doing it. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. what's, what's the problem? Uh, the definition of premises 
because occasionally they may have more than 50 people. So they, they look like they're running that very well. Every every time I've been past there where they've been running, it looks pretty organized and they're running it very well. I'm sure they would appreciate a, a testimony of support at the next planning board meeting. And since we're talking about this, that this is one of the things that I'm probably approached about the most. And it's I've heard this universal support for this company. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, and, and that what people are always mentioning to me is that how impressed they are that every time they go down, they take a load down to the river, they get out with trash bags and they pick up trash, not just mm. their own trash, but trash down there, and yeah. how and how necessary that is. For that place where there, where we don't have trash cans or a sanitation department or anything. And now this is being run from the Boydens, but does it involve the two ladies? I who have down no idea. I'm just informing you of an yeah, item that does. is on the okay. planning board okay. agenda. I I just if okay. if you're interested, there are the people that because they, they were to. they were in here before us a couple of years ago. Do you remember that? I do because there was some parking issues because yeah. they were running it out of their home down on Hoosack Road, which didn't have there a lot of There were a variety of walking. issues, including the speed of their drivers. Right, at that point in time, that was one of the, yes, that was one of the issues. So okay. now they're running the same thing out of uh, Boyden's plot there, and, and it looks it looks great. It looks great. I, I, and it's also I'm just, sure they would appreciate it. And, and also just the how, how necessary it is to allow family farms to earn income um, in any way they can from their land so that they can t continue to be friendly. And, and I noticed they had a, a porta potty there, too. Mm -hmm. If you really yeah. want to discuss the item at length, like, where is the, the when is the planning board meeting? <laughs> they meet Thursdays. I think it's, I'm not sure which Thursday. Tom, do you want to move on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just reporting to you some things here. Okay, Tom. If, if, if you ahead. have the urge, uh, I'm happy to put things on the agenda. I love putting things on. No, we don't. We don't have to put it on the agenda. We've already no, discussed it. Go ahead. No, no, no motions in favor or anything. No, no. We're okay. no. I would. I would do that. that. Yeah. No, not. See, that's what the issue. <coughs> uh, the open space committee and the friends of the South South River, which I don't know why I call them the same thing. There, um, I suppose they have partnered with the Connecticut River Conservancy for enhancements at the South River Meadow on Saturday, September twenty eighth which just passed. Um, they are being given about 200 shrub seedlings for volunteers to plant to improve riverbank stability and shading. As, as this is also part of the Source to Sea Cleanup Day, they're coordinating with the Highway Department for the removal of any trash collected during the event, in case anybody had any questions about that. Uh, but it's gone by. Mm -hmm. uh, the Board of Health installed their new compactor at the transfer station on Tuesday. Oh. All went smoothly. Uh, the administrative assessor and I are preparing a community compact IT grant for enhancing the town's GIS capacity. We're trying to, uh, to enhance both the efficiency and the capacity of the system and to make it more useful for the public. They've, they've done a great job with the GIS oh, system. Yes. Great job. Uh, I use it frequently. Uh, I do as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we received, a, in departmental news, we received a de certification of our free cash at $577,425. I will note that about 166000 was turned over from this year, mm -hmm. uh, so that, uh, and I would like to reserve 200000 to turn over into FY 2021. Mm -hmm. So that, that 577 includes the 166. Right, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That would still leave us with 377 for stabilization capital and other non-operational expenses That's good. and um, as I've been mentioning for years I believe we do need to be putting more into capital stabilization uh, because the previous estimates we had were only for vehicles and did not include buildings mm -hmm. so uh, our fiscal year 19 finances are closed and our fiscal year 2020 tax rate has been set at $18 76 cents. This is not the decline that Lee and I believed was possible, but it does represent just an 11 cent or a 0.59 percent increase. Lee and I have identified most of the issues that led us to underestimate the tax rate and have improved the Excel sheet to be able to generate better estimates next year. 
I understand that the newsletter of the local congregational church, the visitor, has been having difficulty getting published. Many town residents, though not all, see the newsletter as the main means of getting town information. If that publication ceases, which we all hope will not be the case, the town may wish to pick up the slack. That would mean a major increase in service to the town, though also an increase in work, which could be met in various ways. This is just letting you know that I'm preparing for the possibility. So, so you mean not just a little bit of money, you mean assembling the visitor? Well, creating a town newsletter. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I looked into what it would take to get fluorescent school bus signs near the Greenfield Savings Bank. We would need to request Mass DOT to put up extra signs. We already have yellow signs. If we go forward, I'd like to have a formal select board discussion and let a request, so I'd like to put it on the agenda for the next meeting. This is responding to Barbara Ware's yeah, right. comment last time. Mm -hmm. hey, John wasn't here for that. He missed. Yeah, yeah I saw her. I saw her. Yeah. The, uh, um, the resident that, meets the, that occasionally goes to the school bus with a hair dryer in her hand, pretends she's got a radar gun. She did. Did, did you hear that part? Yes. 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 Yes, yes, I did. I was, I was pretty impressed with the resourcefulness well, of that. Sure. <laughs> sure. You know. And uh, fine, uh, a resident has expressed interest in a plot in Shirtshire Cemetery. I believe there may be a map of plots with planning board materials and have asked about this. Mm. I've also asked Peter Friesen if he has any in helpful information. Yeah, that's I the, have that's nothing the, for Shirtshire in North my Shirtshire Cemetery. Yeah. And uh, I went to a funeral there. I'm sorry. I went to a funeral there like six years ago. Hmm. Um, I don't know uh, about the availability of any plots that may be there. I'm not sure where the information might be, but I do have a couple of leads, so I'm, I'm looking into that. We, we do have some maps of the cemeteries. Um, okay. Um, I know that Peter did maps of. As part of his inventory, yeah. he has some maps. Sure. I know I have some maps, but not of this particular cemetery. Where Where so is this particular cemetery? In North Shirtshire. It um. Right is next to Bob Compton. Right next to Bob Compton. Oh, is this yeah, is yeah, this yeah, yeah. this is right on uh, Wilder Hill Road? Right where Wilder Hill meets oh, Shirtshire Road. Exactly. Right where Wilder Hill meets Shirtshire yeah. Road. Right. Which Bob Compton. Then right, right next right to him. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because uh, we did a. We replaced a gravestone there. Right, for the Revol Revolutionary War gravestone. Right, exactly. Yep. Yeah. But Thayer. It was Thayer. Very good. Yes, it was. Yeah. That's impressive. That was the number of years ago. Yes, it was. Dang. Yeah. Well, like you say, that had to be six, seven years yeah. ago. Yeah. We replaced his uh, old damaged stone with a brand new stone. Yes. Federal government does that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it certainly looked like there were there was some room in that cemetery. Yeah. And I have um, one extra thing, just a reminder that the first session of the inaugural Town Academy will be Thursday evening, and I have um, uh, PowerPoint slides for that here. There is a spot to talk about the select board and the select board budget, um, and who the select board is. Um, it would be great if people could show up for that. Um, what time is it? Uh, 7 o'clock. Oh, on a, is it? no, it's the first Tuesday, uh, first Thursday. Um, so that's, um, this is the, I have pretty pictures behind these in the, uh, in the actual PowerPoint. But so it's this coming, coming Thursday? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, so if you can be there, that would be great. Um, actually, as I always say, I hope everybody can come to all of the sessions. Uh, so uh, if you also have anything that you would suggest under a select board to be added, it's, it's not an in-depth look into anything. It's an introduction to everything. Um, and, but it includes the budgets for all of the um, you know, major departments anyway. And my goal is, as I say in uh, uh, 
But for each topic under the sixth slide, uh, I want people to meet the department head and hear what their duties are, hear who was on their staff and what their duties are, learn about typical annual operations, review the departmental budget, uh, discuss recent and current work as well as planned work, and leave plenty of time for questions and answers. Um, I also plan to pick up cider and donuts and maybe some apples. Food Whoa. always works. Whoa. Well, this this, this is um, this is great. So this um, is the first one. And Lisa, yes, you guys did a great job on this. Yeah. Um, Thank you. And and hopefully we get great turnouts for all these meetings uh, because this this is important. As I mentioned to you, I, I uh, sent Dominic Polly yes. your um, mailer. Oh, good. And asked him to uh, to do something with it. So we may see an article in the recorder in the next day or two. There, there was one. Yeah, there was one. So well, yeah. one. It, it was it was earlier, I think. Then okay. he did a nice article about it. Though. That was front page. Yeah, I have I have a copy of that. When was that? Oh, I don't think. All right, don't, don't worry about it. Now. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, concerns of the selectmen. Do you have any concerns? Phil, any concern? Um, I got approached about questions about, I should have asked Ron, but um, we got approached yesterday about questions about the town, a town highway department vehicle that looked like it had been in an accident and the town highway equipment trailer that was upside down with the axle and tires removed and so people were wondering if there had been an accident, but I thought the guy said that it was the, the, the pickup truck, but I saw that today and it clearly was not in an accident, so I don't quite know what I was being asked. But if you well, you can always ask me to ask Ron. If you could any ask, question, if you could, at if, any you could time. if you could ask Ron whether there was, and an accident, then I would be he, able to answer that yes, question yes, yeah, here I, rather than it wasn't at the top of my mind. But yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was asked about highway department vehicles in an accident. Okay. Bob, you have no. Uh, okay, I don't have anything. Um, mail. Let's see what we got in the mail. Okay, we have a. Uh, that's your personal. That's folder. my personal. Folder. Yeah, there wasn't anything <coughs> Nothing in the mail. Nothing in the mail. Okay. No mail. No mail. No announcements. Yes. Yes. Announcements. Oh, you do. You have an announcement. Yes, of course. Oh, okay. So yes. So so this Sunday, all day is the Festival of the Hills. We have a parade at Sunday? one o'clock. Sunday. Yes. Sunday. Well, of course we have the festival. Somebody had mentioned Saturday. Saturday, yeah, Saturday is Sunday. the preliminary festivities. Sunday is the the, the, yeah, sk the skittle toss and the you know stuff. the, the that's, meat. That's what I understood. Yeah. So um, Saturday, the, the the a bunch of things. The spelling bee at the one room schoolhouse from ten to twelve. Ah, um, that's, that's what I remember. Um, that yours truly will be conducting, and then there is an uh, under the dome fundraiser for the. Uh, for, for the library, for the field library, I believe that starts at five or six o'clock. But that goes in the <coughs> evening. There's live music. There's hors d'oeuvres. There's that's a Saturday night. A Saturday night. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, uh, and then all day Sunday is the festival of the hills. Oh. A, a topic called announcements. We have to announce all that. So, yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Do you feel better now? Yeah, I do. Okay. And we have a parade tomorrow, Tim. I have a sore ankle, a sprained ankle, and. Oh, come on, man. It'd be nice to have a convertible to ride in, but uh, instead, but, yeah. I may have to show up with a, with a cane, in all seriousness. You want to march in the parade? Yeah. I'm sure the, um, you know, the, the um, Council on Aging can give you a walker if you there need There you it. go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know? Thank you. Okay. It was Peter Rosnick's fault. I came down on his foot when I was playing basketball, so I nice blamed him. Well, you know, a guy your age shouldn't be playing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> He's only me. You know? Um, and taller. Okay. Our next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow. Tuesday, October 15th. Is that 15th? Yeah. 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 Because Monday, Monday is a holiday. Yes. But we have a meeting tomorrow. Yes. That's we true. do. We do have a meeting tomorrow. 
Um, as the Agricultural Commission? As the Agricultural Commission. But the next select board meeting. Okay. But tomorrow, we meet again here as the Agricultural Commission. Okay. Will that be with the Agricultural Commission or where it does? No, you are it here at, at this point. Okay. So I, I don't, um, if everybody has a copy of the that particular zoning ordinance that we're going to be deciding. I, I do. Yes. So if, if I you don't, don't have a copy. Yeah. Yes. I, um, I, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a bylaw. It's yeah, not, it's it's not a zoning. Yeah. It's not a zoning yeah. bylaw. It's a general bylaw. Well, the general agricultural bylaw. There's a couple that, yeah. pertinent sentences in there. Yes, there is. Yeah. Okay. So we and have an executive session to go into. It's at six. Uh, and I'll make a motion that we go into executive session and we will adjourn from executive session and from the open session at the same time. Uh, and the reason we're going into executive session is for reason six, to consider the purchase of real estate. Uh, if the chair declares that an open meeting may be detrimental to the um, uh, negotiating position of the public body, and I do declare that. You want to go into that? Yes. 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 And yes.